because I respect Mike Tyson, I won't do a bad imitation. But let's see if this Dredderick Tatum is an imitation or as good as the original. So in this corner, we have the Simpsons from Super 7, Dredderick Tatum. I was planning on doing holding this review until closer to the Mike Tyson fight, but then Mike Tyson had a uh, health scare and he wasn't able to fight in July. I'm not going to hold this all the way till October or November, whenever they do decide to fight. So we're getting this review now. This is the Dredderick Tatum from Super 7. Mike Tyson is my favorite boxer of all time. I'm a kid who grew up in the 90s and I just watched them knock people out. Also, as he's a Brooklyn native and I'm from Brooklyn, literally down the street from where I live, maybe like 10 blocks, was a whole mural on the side of a building of Mike Tyson. And he was just like a rock star to me. So I'm super excited that we're getting this Dredderick Tatum, but I'm going to uh, do something a little bit different. I'm going to rate him against the, um, and I can't even think, the uh, Storm Collectibles Mike Tyson figure and the Storm Collectibles Ball Rock figure, aka M. Bison in Japan, because that's, th those are all representations of Mike Tyson as this is. So hopefully Super 7 did a great job and knocked this one out. Ha! Anyway, let's open up the box well before we do that let's see if this box is better than your mom's this box better than the box he was held in so on the front we have a open box to see the toy itself on the back we have a photo or not a photo a drawing of Dredderick tatum and the first time that he was shown on the simpsons uh shows when the episode and when it originally aired I would have been nine at the time and I this box is straight trash I don't know if Super 7 is just dialing up phoning it in since they lost the license but this is a really trash box but let's crack open the box and see oh, what's in the box so we had a little mishap when I was putting pulling everything out the box. Uh, Jederick Tatum's leg popped off. It seems like it's either too much or too little or whatever it is, plastic in the joint. So that makes it just really easy to pop off. I'm wondering, and you see how it just, if you, maybe you can hear, didn't hear it, but it is popping on and off really easily. Other side, not so bad, but that one side just falls to pieces. I'm not going to argue with him. I don't care that much. Everything on him pops off real easily. Not a fan of that. Okay, we'll talk about that when we get to design. Let's, let's let you rock. He's, he's, does, can he stand? Because if he can stand, then that's all that matters. And he can stand. Hooray! Frederick is standing. Okie dokie. So in the box, we get Dredderick Tatum and his uh, cut off sleeve robe. We get the an angry Dredderick Tatum looking off to the side. We get a smiling Dredderick Tatum after a victory. Focus. Smiling Dredderick Tatum after a victory. We get a towel. Let's go around his neck. towel to go around his neck we get a shoe which i'm sure he knocked off someone while he was beating them to bits we get his wbc belt looking fantastic and then we get two open palm gloves with pegs so that he can hold his belt above his head awesome and once again, Super 7 is actually really good at giving accessories 
for the price they should have. There's no reason why they wouldn't. So kudos to them. Knows when I've shot you. That was a decent amount of accessories in the box. But let's take a look at the design on this thing and see how it stacks up. So this thing looks just like the cartoon Jetterick Tatum. The design looks really good. This, I wish it had, and normally I hate cell shading, but this thing is kind of bland and you're not really getting, oh, that's super cool. On the back, it says Mr. Armageddon. Um, I do really like this robe. Uh, the arms really do remind me of uh, Paul Rog, aka Bison. So you dearly do get kind of a good look for him like that. And let's take off the other side of the arms. Can you come off easily? Kind of, sort of. Yeah, hand came off. And yeah, oh, is that just plastic dangling? Okay. Alrighty. So, I don't know if this was rushed out the factory, but there's basically no PC on this thing whatsoever. It does look like Dreaderick Tatum. He might be a little bit bulkier than I expect, and the plastic is rubbing against each other. He's a little bit bulkier than I expect. Yeah, that size of pure exasperation. A little bit bulkier than I would expect. I guess they were trying to make it to over exaggerate his muscles, but he looks uh, he looks really heavy in this area, making it very difficult for him to blend in. And he doesn't have a neck because it's built into his body. Um, I I guess it's design choice, basically. Uh, not a bad toy he's he's more boxy than i would like and yes Redder tatum was supposed to be a big guy but if you look at his proportion uh he is supposed to be swelt like a boxer and this guy is built like a refrigerator i you see him next to Bullrog, which i will do toward the end or to the mike tyson figure you'll see that there's a huge difference in body type and that's just kind of odd and really off-putting for the, how this design looks. I do love the head scope on this thing. The gloves are okay. He looks like he has like cuffs on and I guess that's the design from the Simpsons. Yeah, that's the design from the Simpsons, but the way it looks on him, it looks like he's wearing like Santa Claus gloves, Santa Claus gloves, which throws it off and makes it a little off-putting. Um, I don't have any other Simpsons Super 7 toys, so I can't Simpsons Super 7 toys say that 10 times fast um so i can't compare him to those to see if if he's in scale so i can't compare him to homer which he should be towering over and i'm pretty sure he doesn't and that might be the reason why he's so bulky because it actually make him bigger design wise this thing is blah good head sculpt body is trash i do really like this that's because i came with it though so uh anyway Let's see if this thing can squat. One and two and three and four and... And this thing absolutely cannot... Uh, I don't know if this thing can actually move, to be honest. We get some good movement on the head. He can, his lips can disappear into his chest. Really cool. Can look up this much. Let's back you up. You can look up that much. Not a lot, but you can look down a lot. Shoulders. His hands keep falling off because... I don't know why shoulders are gonna fight me and if you break i swear to god i will return you shoulders are fighting me but as you can see if you look at that i don't know how this was cut but it is eating the plastic is eating to the shoulder so it therefore it can't move that's horrible oh my god that is straight i don't i don't know if it's coming to the camera focus camera but the plastic is eating into the other plastic because whoever built this didn't plan on him moving at all. So one side moves fine, kind of. The other side will not and it fights you and the pieces fall off easily. Okay. And 
he has good hip motion, decent hip motion for a Super 7 toy. His legs are really short and stocky. I don't, I don't know. I'm not going to get much range out his knees and his legs just pop off real easily. And yeah, this thing can't squat. This thing can barely move. Thing. I'm glad I got him to stand because as is, I'm pretty sure it wants to fall over because of this put together shoddy. Oh my god, his shoulder is, is chewed up and I all I did was try to lift it up so he can do a T-pose. Something that I do with all my figures and the fact that he can't do that is just unacceptable. Um, yeah, trash. Anyway, let's go into the money. The price is wrong, bitch. So this guy is 65 bucks and i don't know why it is absolutely not worth the money i understand why uh disney pulled away the license from them because this is unacceptable as a toy i'm just gonna hop into the final verdict before we even go any further final verdict is this thing is straight trash i'm just gonna i'm not even gonna compare it to the Mike Tyson figures because Balrog, aka and Bison, and the Mike Tyson figures is going to look through part even better. And you'll see the pictures that I take when you can see them all together. But this is getting my first ever one out of eight. It is not worth the money. Savior, do not spend the money because it's definitely a piece of trash. Don't do it. I I don't understand how this is going to be so bad. And I wanted to love this. I did. It's not that, and I know I give a lot of hate to the seven. It's because they're expensive. And when you get pieces of crap, like the shoulder rubbing, when you're trying to do a simple people. And I do love the accessories on this, but the fact that I can't move the thing without it falling apart or without it just crumbling. Yeah, that's just it's straight trash. Anyway, guys, I think that's it for me. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.